All right, here we go. Hey everybody, welcome back to Drinks in a Movie. Chris Hamker back with you. Today we'll be talking about Baby Driver, but first let's start with the drink. The drink I'm making today is the Sidecar. The Sidecar is really easy. It's two parts brandy or cognac, one part triple sec, half part lemon juice put into a shaker with ice, shaken up and poured into a martini glass, rimmed with sugar. Uh, so let's make this drink. So since I don't have much brandy left, this is about two parts. That's right. All right, so Baby Driver is written and directed by Edgar Wright uh, and stars Ansel Elgort as Baby, a getaway driver of a band of armed robbers led by Kevin Spacey. And Baby has uh, in the movie tinnitus, which is a ringing in the ear. And so what he does is listen to music constantly to drown out the extra noise and humming and drumming in his ear. And because of that, he is able to drown out uh, a lot of the distractions when doing his getaway driving, which makes him an amazing getaway driver. All right, let's shake this up. And... Let's get some of this sidecar. All right, let's try this bad boys. Get some of the sugar here. And it is pretty darn good. So Baby Driver is fast, fun, and frenetic. And alliteration aside, this is all due to writer-director Edgar Wright. Uh, he truly is the star of this movie. He's responsible for the Cornetto trilogy, which is one of my favorite comedy trilogies that consists of Shaun of the Dead, uh, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End with, with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. Uh, those are all great movies, and Edgar Wright also wrote and directed um, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, which is also a really cool little underrated um, kind of game, uh, video game comedy. Uh, his ability to write, you know, a really witty banter and his like quick direction and editing is right up my alley. I love that stuff. I mean, it's it's super funny uh, and it's fast paced and it never bores you. And you know, this movie, Baby Driver, is no different. So what Edgar Wright has started to do in his movies is use music in a really interesting way. He started this with uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, who, which kind of centers on this uh, band. But this one, he does it in a whole new way. Um, this movie uses music uh, rhythmically uh, in order to, no pun intended, really drive the scenes. Uh, it's pretty much a musical, and it's not a musical in a in kind of a you know traditional La La Land kind of way, where the characters just break into song um, for really you know no reason, and it and they act like it's a really super normal thing to do. Uh, this mo movie doesn't use like uh, a, a traditional um, score, even though that's in there but the music that's used is is actual music like from Motown style to indie rock to tequila ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba drink it's just a really clever way and really inventive way to um, frame the scenes and drive the action I mean this movie is just filled with music from head to toe the opening credits have um, Ansel Elgort's character Baby dancing through the streets of Atlanta, and as he does it, he's kind of weaving in and out of the people and dancing and has his earbuds in, and you see little bits of the song graffitied on the back wall as he passes by, and it's just a really clever, neat little thing that Edgar Wright is doing. Plus, one of the best moments in the movie doesn't have anything to do with driving. It's uh, this scene where um, uh, Baby is on a date with his love interest, Deborah, who's played really, I mean, adorably by um, Lily James. And they they have their first date in this laundromat and they do this really cute little thing. It's been, been done a billion times, but they listen to the same song on an on a iPod 
where they have you know an earbud in each ear, but then they do this kind of sort of dance throughout the laundromat where they're having this dialogue, but they're really close to each other, but they kind of move around this place with the beat of the song that is just so unique and so interesting and just really adorable and, and, and quite a beautiful little scene, and I just loved it. So this brings me to the cast. The cast is just superb in this. I mean, from El Gord's uh, title character is Baby, who I never really liked Ansel El Gord up until this moment. He's never really impressed me in any way, and he's been in a lot, like The Fault in Our Stars and stuff like that, and he's he's fine, but he's never been, you know, a really standout. I mean, he carried this movie, and he did so well doing this kind of, you know, like I said, the, the way this movie's framed with the, the music and the dancing and the gliding through the scenes, he did so well with that. Also, uh, Kevin Spacey's there, and he is great as usual as the hard-ass boss. Plus, John Hamm and Jamie Foxx show up as occasional members of the robbery team, and they're, they're always great. They do the banter dialogue really well, and they also end up being, you know, menacing and and you know badass in, in certain scenes too so they 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 really bring their their a game even though they have kind of smaller roles and the only negative i can think of is that through the second half of this movie they cut back on having the music integrated into each scene as they did in the first half they just didn't do it quite as much uh, i found that as the as the danger and the tension ramped up in the movie and you know the story kind of progressed they kind of went to that you know uh cool kind of music uh vibe of the movie less and less and that was just a little disappointing to me I wish they would have done that a little bit more throughout the second half of the movie now remember in my last video I mentioned that the mummy didn't quite know what it wanted to be was it an action movie was it a horror movie was it a comedy and it and, and I said it didn't really do any one of these things very well well baby driver is one of the rare cases where it does multiple things really well I mean it was able to be an action, comedy, musical drama, and it did all of those things uh, uh, really well, and it kicked ass that way. Um, you just have to know how to do it, I guess, and Edgar Wright knows how to do it. I mean, you know, this movie was just a real nice, pleasant surprise, and I'm gonna give it a 4.5 drinks out of five. I had a lot of fun with this. I, I would take a chance on it. It's original, it's a, it's a, it's a very, like, um, confined story so it's not sprawling it doesn't have too much going on uh but it but it's you know concise and 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 has a little bit of heart at the end so uh yeah definitely go see this movie so let me know uh in the comments below what your pleasant surprise it was recently you went and saw a movie and you're like really i didn't expect it to be that good but it was thank you so much everybody for joining me cheers have a drink on me if you like this please like share and subscribe down here at the bottom thanks a lot bye bye